Hey, this is Jeff again with the Evolve Adventures. Greek guys are at com. R-E-I-G-U-I-D-E-S-E-R-V-S-E.com. Wanted to talk to you about my biggest failure in business. And in 25 years, it's something that I've struggled with and struggled with. And I think that a lot of people struggle with it, but I wanted to make a quick video about it. And that's procrastination. Procrastination really does destroy a whole lot within any kind of business, with any kind of relationship. The relationship you have with your own personal residence, if you don't take care of the maintenance, then it starts to fall apart, there's deterioration, further damage is caused. That's all a relationship with your house, a relationship with your car. If you don't change your oil and the fluids, it'll break down in a relationship with your business. If you don't take care of your employees and you don't take care of your finances and you don't take care of your credit, eventually, if you procrastinate on enough things, it'll destroy the relationship you have with anything. The relationship being how you and another thing interact together, okay? So that's what I mean by that. And procrastination has definitely destroyed and, and, and caused a lot of failures within my own business in the last 25 years. Because being a business person is very difficult whenever you have to prioritize items. And you have to figure out which things are most important. And I see a lot of businesses fail like this. And what they'll do is they're very good at their business. And so they'll be so busy doing the business of their business that they don't get back to the part of the books, the management, to make sure they're doing scheduling, to, to keeping track of everything so they know what their profits and losses are. To start you know, doing the things that they need to do as far as um, getting a CPA and an attorney and lining out the different lines of credit that they're going to need because they're busy baking cakes or, you know, doing land clearing or, you know, running a restaurant or having a management, a property management business or a real estate investment business. You know, you need to start getting your ducks in a row. People will, especially ones that are very good at what it is that they're doing, the business will blow up. And I've seen this with a lot of contractors where all of a sudden, you know, they did good work for someone. And so they get a bunch of different referrals and now they've promised to do six or seven jobs and they're not, they don't, they're not set up to do six or seven jobs and they have all the best intentions in the world. But now all of those different clients are pissed off and talking shit about them because they didn't take care of them. I've had that happen to me. I've had me be that contractor where I took on too many projects and I got overwhelmed and then I was procrastinating on trying to figure out how to fix it because I became overwhelmed and those failures just compounded and made things worse by my procrastination. So if you sit down every day and make it a priority to figure out what things are important to you and what things are important to the growth of your business, it'll help you be a lot more successful in the long run and it'll help you stop procrastinating. Be blessed. Bless others. Readguideservice.com.